Hello, this is Vitlana Shapitsina and this tutorial will be about Redux design pattern. It is going to be our new project and in our previous project where we started to work with uh, React, uh, we have art implementation of Flux. You can find everything in this tutorial and also you can find documentation here on this website. Also on YouTube video description you will find a link to our uh, previous project JIT and uh, to a new one. As you know art is implementation of flux and flux is built in, in React so you can find documentation here from React website. But for now we decided to switch uh, to Redux functionality. And in order to implement it you need to know main principles of Flux uh, because it still has some common features. And Redux is actually inspired by Flux functionality. So why we decided to switch from Flux to Redux? It has crucial differences in uh, application design pattern. Any changes to our Redux application, including the data and UI state, are contained in the single object state or it's also called state tree. And this single object is stored in the single store. So it is the first principle of Redux application and it's called single source of truth. In Flux, uh, we used to have multiple stores and a dispatcher to manage them. This state tree describes our whole application and it is read-only. This is the second principle of Redux. We cannot modify or write directly to our state and the only way to change a state is to dispatch an action. And if state is representation of your app data, action is going to be representation of your state change. And when we open our application, you can see here are uh, actions for our articles. And the only requirement to create an action is defining action type. And it is string. And also we refer to an article as an element of array using index. But it is better to generate a unique ID like we have it on todos. So we have our application state, we have an action dispatched and in order to specify how this action is going to change our application state, we need to create a pure function. And this is the third principle of Redux. Any changes that you make uh, in your application, you make using pure functions. And they are called reducers. And with pure function, you take your state, current state, you give an action, and you always return a new object you never mutate your data and if um, your reducer is not going uh, to make any changes you always return default state your initial state of this reducer so in flux we had multiple stores and a dispatcher to manage them and here with redux we have only one store and in order to split our data handling logic, we will use reducer composition instead of many stores. And how it works. In our application, we have folder reducers and we can create as many as we need. And there is one main reducer file where we combine all our reducers. We have combined reducers function and we create root reducer control shift f and you can see that we use it only in configure store we import it and uh, 
there is uh, one pure function in Redux app that takes uh, our state tree and action being dispatched and returns the new state of your application. So this Redux design pattern functionality when you have only one state object and you keep it inside single store and it is read only, you can change it only with dispatching actions and applying reducer functions, pure functions, gives us a lot of advantages and I will try to show them during uh, my tutorials. And also trying to compare Flux and Redux, I created this table. You will find it also in uh, YouTube video description. And one of the main advantages of uh, this approach is possibility to create uh, like traveling in time functionality. It's undo redo functionality, how it works. So let's run our application. I open terminal and I need to run NRS. Does it work? And PM start. And uh, I will need to open localhost. Here it is. And when my application runs, you can see that immediately Redux Dev Tools window is open. And you can find all about this functionality on GitHub. You will find the link on YouTube description. And also uh, in the project dev tools here where it is configured and what advantages uh, dev tools functionality gives to us it's possibility to travel in time possibility to redo undo your steps your states and from initial point all your states are being recorded and you have You can uh, cross out some of them. You can see that now we have empty page and I can undo it. I can revert and come back to initial point and you can see that my page is empty. In order not to get this effect, you need to commit from the beginning. Then it doesn't matter where you come and revert. You come back to your initial point and your view is not disappearing. So you can see that any action that is dispatched, even when you open, is recorded. And you can see explicit uh, action toggle sidebar. After that, for example, I want to come to counter and I am on counter. I have action rotor the change and on payload I can see I can see first of all all history and uh, my previous states never uh, never disappear, they always are recorded on my last state and on the out. You can see here is history and uh, present sidebar open and I can cross it and sweep and when I come from home when I commit and for example in this case I come from counter I close side now and then I decided to come back you can see how it works you don't need even to reload and more about this functionality will be in next tutorial thank you bye bye